In 2013, I was diagnosed with cancer. I was just about to graduate at the top of my class when I had surgery to remove a mass that turned out to be a rare form of cancer called Langerhans cell histiocytosis. I was shocked, angry, and in denial. I felt like my life was over. After two weeks of spinal taps, blood tests, and dozens of scans, we discovered that we had removed the cancer before it had a chance to spread. I felt like I had been given a second chance at life and had learned a crucial lesson. If we don't have our health, then we don't have anything. My name is Leif Arneson, I'm the co-founder of The Vegan Gym, and since 2017, I've been on a mission to help one million vegans get into the best shape of their lives. As I was growing up, I was always an active kid. I would run around outside with my brother, Anders, and all of our friends in the neighborhood, and we would just constantly be on the move, whether we were biking or running around in the woods or doing stuff like that. I mean, our childhood was awesome. Uh, our parents loved us, you know, provide everything uh, that we needed. A lot of the memories just come from like really early childhood uh, where we would uh, hold like mallets and put on like rain, uh, rain coats and boots and stuff and like I put on a pig nose with like beads. Like we would make some absurd outfits uh, and just like r run around outside acting like we're, we're crazy little kids, but like the dynamic of Leif and I together, um, I don't know, it's your stereotypical um, sibling relationship, right? Especially between two brothers. Uh, love each other one moment, then fight each other to the next. Is we're going to have a 12, 12 month process where we're taking clients through. So we're going to have it broken up into modules. There are going to be a total of uh, there are 27 modules. I'm gonna walk. They you filmed through. it, or it, that's just the structure of it. They're filming it. They're gonna right now. Or no, currently, no. They are. They are going to film it. When I graduated high school, I was 130 pounds at five feet and 11 inches tall, and my cardiovascular endurance was really amazing at that point, but I didn't have the physique that I wanted to have. I really wanted to build muscle and feel more confident. Let's go. So I started getting into weight training when I went to college, and that really, really sparked my love of fitness in a way that I hadn't experienced before. And that's when my love of fitness really started to take off and I felt like this was a lifelong uh, kind of journey that I really wanted to take. Growing up as a kid, I was extremely unconfident. Um, uh, I really viewed myself poorly. Um, I was like your stereotypical, like very scrawny kid growing up. And when I was in the in high school, uh, I remember one of my best friends said I should go to the gym with him in the morning. I still remember that morning to this day. That was the first moment in my life that I felt like I was in complete control of the outcome of something. It showed me an avenue to gain my confidence back, to find myself, to um, feel empowered and strong. So after I had surgery to remove my tumor, I was referred to two oncologists who worked together to give me a path moving forward. And they both recommended that I get preventative chemo and radiation to just make sure that the cancer hadn't wasn't going to return. And that really just didn't 
uh, align with my vision of what it means to be truly healthy. And I just felt like intuitively, this doesn't feel like the right approach. I decided that I needed to really figure out how to make sure I never went through this again. So I started looking into the science behind nutrition and trying to figure out what the best eating approach was for disease prevention. And I discovered that a plant-based diet is the best approach for uh, avoiding cancer and a bunch of other long-term diseases. When Leif first told me that he went vegan, um, I was that meathead jarhead uh, that you have this uh, stereotypical thought about, right? Um, I was just getting out of the military, I moved in with Leif, um, and I had my half of the fridge, he had his half of the fridge, his was vegetables, mine was meat, um, and I didn't understand it, uh, I was confused about it, um, but I did understand his reasoning behind it because he went through the cancer scare. He's very smart in knowing what is best for him. Um, so I respected that about him. Uh, of course, I cracked the occasional jokes here and there, um, but I mean, that's what siblings do, right? Start chopping those up. This is my favorite vegan fajita recipe. So once Anders got out of the Marines, uh, he came back to live with me and we started sharing an apartment. And at that point I had been vegan for around two years and I was pretty kind of grossed out by all of the animal products that Anders had in there. But I enjoyed kind of spending time with him and living together. So I just kind of put up with it. But I would just kind of make little comments here and there to really push uh, more of a plant-based uh, eating approach. It grew on me, of course, because I'm sitting here. Leif might say this differently, but the reason why I went vegan, uh, number one, uh, Leif said I couldn't do it. So, of course, I had to prove my brother wrong. I did not feel good. That was me just getting out of the military. Um, so I was 5'9", just under 200 pounds, which is unhealthy, so I was overweight. I knew that I was capable of so much more. Uh, so I was like, maybe this is it. The crazy thing is not only did I commit to just going full on vegan one day, uh, that same day I committed to my first bodybuilding competition. And um, I haven't looked back since. So during my first year as a vegan, I felt like I really had my health in order. I was focusing on eating tons of uh, healthy, wholesome plant foods, which was awesome and I felt great, but I was really struggling to build muscle and accomplish my physique and fitness goals. It really kind of ate at me because I wanted to be just this healthy, uh, example of veganism and prove that it's possible to build muscle, build strength as a vegan, and accomplish your fitness goals. So I really wanted to be able to kind of challenge the status quo and prove all of the doubters wrong. So that's what really pushed me to continue figuring out my nutrition and really just kind of lit a fire under me to accomplish my fitness goals as a vegan. So I started a blog called The Vegan Gym in 2016, and my intention was to read research papers and take all of that information and boil it down to really practical takeaways that vegans could use to build muscle, shred fat, and become healthier. At the time, I was working full-time as an engineer, but this was really kind of what I was passionate about. I enjoyed my day job, but when I got home in the evening, I would just spend all, uh, all my evening into usually the early morning hours, researching and writing and just trying to help vegans in any way that I could to accomplish their fitness goals because I saw firsthand how powerful it was to accomplish my fitness goals as a vegan. I was inspiring my friends, my family, and I wanted to give that same opportunity to other vegans. I asked my brother Anders if he wanted to join uh, the vegan gym and help me to coach vegans. So he said yes, and we just started coaching more vegans and eventually uh, created the Vegan Superhero Academy. And to date, uh, we've helped over 850 clients to get into the best shape of their lives. 
So when it comes to the, the vegan gym's mission, um, Leif and I are very aligned. I am an individual that loves to serve. I love to help people. And so I want to be that individual that helps educate and guides uh, other vegans to a point of being able to talk about veganism with confidence, to uh, inspire those around them to build up healthier habits and routines. I just want everyone to feel like they're living the lives that they want to be living. I want them to know that they're not alone. Um, I want them to know that there is a way uh, to achieve the things that they want to do in their health and fitness while being vegan. I am proof that this is something that can be done. Um, and uh, all of our clients, uh, everyone that we hel have helped and are helping is proof that you can take control of your life. There's literally nothing in the world that I would rather be doing than what I do every single day to help vegans uh, to become better, both with their health, with their fitness, just become more passionate, be more purposeful in the goals that they want to accomplish, and at the same time, inspiring other people to go vegan as well, to save more animals and save the planet. A lot of people think it's impossible, and I want people to view the vegan gym uh, as a movement of like-minded vegans that are ready to show this world what we got and what you can create. And I think that is such a cool thing.